So Mojang just released a new experimental caves and cliffs update for the 1.18 update. Now, basically, I'm going to go through how to download it and also show you some of the new things that are in it. So firstly, if you want to download it, go to the blog post that will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. And then scroll down until you see how do I get the experimental snapshot and click download the zip file. Once you've downloaded it, find the zip folder in your downloads. Right click and press extract all. Then find a similar folder which is unzipped in your downloads. Right click and press cut. And then depending on what OS you use, then it depends what you have to do to find the Minecraft data folder. So basically, if you're on Windows, press Windows and R on your keyboard and type percentage app data percent forward slash dot Minecraft and press OK. If you're on Mac OS X, find it in the go menu, select go to folder and enter this right here. If you're on Linux, search um, either this or this. When you find your .minecraft folder, double click versions and then paste it into there. And then once you've done that, go into installations on your Minecraft launcher, click new installation and then find pending 1.18 underscore experimental snapshot one. Click that and press create. As you can see, if I scroll to the bottom, you can see it's there. And then all you need to do to play it is click play and it'll come up with a notification like this and you can basically if you don't want it to warn you again you can press that and then click play and then it will take you into the game so basically the actual changes compared to caves and cliffs part one they basically reintroduced everything that they added in the 1.17 snapshots before everything got turned off apart from what was in caves and cliffs part one so it's got the new world height and depth the new mountain biomes new cave generation local water levels and lava levels in the underground the new cave biomes the lush caves and dripstone caves natural variation in terrain shape and elevation and the new ore distribution and large ore veins as well as the integrated mountains caves and cave entrances and finally monsters will only spawn in complete darkness yeah that's basically everything for this video so thanks for watching i'll see you all later bye